Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what Apple Music Sing is. I'm going to be talking about what it is and then also showing you a live demo of it because it was released today in iOS 16.2 Release Candidate. So we now have a live demo of how it works. This is Apple's new introduction to the Apple Music subscription where it now includes this karaoke type feature where you can dim or completely remove the lyrics so that you can sing along to the backing track. So let's get straight into it. So this is their press release on Apple Music Sing, where they talk about what it is and how it sort of works. Um, I'll leave this linked in the description below if you want to read the whole thing. But essentially it's showing you that it is a karaoke type program where you can sort of um, listen in and remove the lyrics so that you can sing along to the song by yourself. So it talks about how it works, it should have say some live demos with some screenshots. And it says it has adjustable vocals, real-time lyrics, background vocals, and also a duet view. So the lyrics view was also upgraded a little bit with this process as well. And you can see that it's available to all people who currently subscribe to Apple Music. And it will be available on iPhone and iPad models as well as the new Apple TV 4K. So the supported devices, um, if we go back here and go this Mac room is posting... Um, they do have the supported devices listed here, so we'll let this load in. So you can see um, it essentially requires an A13 Bionic or later because of some of the processing it has to do to make this work. So you need an iPhone 11 or later. Um, that also includes, you can use the iPhone SE second generation. In terms of iPads, you need the 12.9 inch iPad Pro fifth generation or later, third generation 11 inch iPad Pro or later, 4th generation iPad Air or later, ninth generation iPad or later, and the iPad Mini 6th generation. And you can also use the brand new 2022 Apple TV 4K with that. Uh, that's the one with the A15 Bionic chip. So there's the devices that can run this new Apple Music Sing program. So now let me go into my Apple Music and I'll show you how this works. So we'll go into Apple Music here. And what we're going to do is this works on a range of songs at the moment. However, some of the more popular songs have some additional features and it's the full Apple Music Sing experience. So what we're going to do is go into search and we'll use Shape of You for this demo um, because that's a fairly popular song and it supports all of the features um, that Apple Music Sync has to offer. So we'll go into that. We'll just click Shape of You here. It will start playing. And we can go into this view here. Now, what we need to do is go into the lyrics view, which is this little button here. Um, so the lyrics button there. And when you go into the lyrics view, you'll see that, first of all, the lyrics look a bit redesigned. So you'll see that instead of just showing you the blocks of text in each different section, it actually has a little highlight which goes across as he's singing each word. So you'll see um, that... You can see that in action there where it's um, going through each of the words to help you sing along more in real time. Now, if you want to go into sing mode, there's the little microphone here. You can just click that and then it will say sing um, underneath the sort of progress bar. So if it disappears, just click towards the bottom and then you'll bring it up again. And you can slide, this is just a slider here of the microphone. This is adjusting the levels of vocals that you're hearing. So this is full vocals. Um, and then you can turn, tone it down to like halfway, or you can turn it all the way off completely. And it's completely up to you. And if you just tap it, it will go back to normal, the normal song. In this case, this one has Dolby Atmos. So you can just continue to adjust that however you want. And that will just completely remove the lyrics to whatever level you've specified. Now, this is super um, handy. Um, in the short time that I've used it, just in a couple of hours since installing this update, it seems to have worked quite well. Um, it's sort of, um, it does a pretty good job of removing the lyrics. Now, I know there's other applications that can do this as well, but it's really nice having this built into Apple Music um, for your the people who already pay for this subscription, 
it's a really handy feature that they've added. So that's really nice that they've added this feature and it seems to work quite well. So yeah, that's Apple Music Sing. Um, it's a very good feature. I'm very much glad they've added it and it is really nice that it is now included in Apple Music and for no additional cost as well if you're already subscribing. So that's really great. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of Apple Music Sing and whether this will be handy for you in your use case. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Now, in terms of when this should be released to the public, um, I'm thinking around next week sometime. It's in release candidate at the moment, so you can get it if you have the beta profile, but I'd probably just hold off until around sometime next week when this is probably released to the public and everyone can get iOS 16.2 which is what Apple Music Sing is available on. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful in, and you really enjoy the Apple Music Sing experience. Um, and let me know in the comments below as well if you've got any video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.